Restored Live, brought to you in part by Alt Driver. So guys, welcome to another live stream here tonight. Uh, this Thursday evening. Uh, tonight it's going to be on this 1955 BMW Isetta 250. Uh, this is a pretty rare little car here. We, we haven't had a whole lot of Isettas around the shop, uh, but the last time we ran into this car, we actually bought six of them all together. So uh, we kind of uh, stumbled <laughs> into a honey hole, I guess you'd say. Now this car right here, uh, I say it's a rare car, so it's a very early BMW Isetta. It would have been a what they call a bubble top. So on the top of this car, it was actually shaped like a bubble. <laughs> and for some reason, somebody felt like they needed to cut the top off of it and make it a convertible. So I'm not sure if there was some kind of damage that happened to the car. Uh, I don't know if they were just too cool for school and <laughs> felt like they needed a convertible or what. But now uh, it's a bubble pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now the bubble's been popped on this one, I guess you'd say. So. Uh, we're going to jump right in on this live stream. Uh, I know it's been a little while. We, we did a live stream last week on the 67 uh, Chevy C C50 dump truck. Uh, but before that, it had been a little while we've been missing. We've had a whole lot of stuff going on in the background. So uh, we're going to jump into this. If you're watching from the Restored YouTube channel, uh, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for being here and watching with us. Uh, if you're watching from the Alt Driver Facebook page, uh, we appreciate that support as well. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, be sure to go check out Alt Driver Facebook. Uh, give them a like, give them a follow. Uh, really cool automotive content on their page as well. So, uh, you saw on this video, we picked it up, we brought it in with the forklift. Uh, but just to kind of give you guys just a heads up, a little bit of the backstory. I know we've titled this 1955. BMW IZ a barn find and a barn finds not exactly sitting out there in our yard. I know that uh, So just to give you an idea we actually bought six of these BMW IZ as like I told you uh, out of Wolf City So uh, we picked them up uh, This one actually had a motor in it uh, The rest of them were pretty much missing motors other than another one that had a Volkswagen engine in it uh, It was extremely hot day that day, but we got everything picked up uh, you'll see this trailer was just packed full with Izettas and we got a ton of looks coming home with all these things on there. Uh, but the gentleman that we bought it from, the story that we got off of him is he had bought them from an older gentleman. Uh, I can't believe if he, he got uh, ill in his health or he actually passed away and his wife was selling them off. Uh, but he had all this collection and a lot of really cool old Vespa scooters and stuff. Uh, just parked out up underneath an old barn. So he was just a huge collector of, of micro cars, little mopeds and stuff like that. So uh, we were able to buy all six of these Izettas. Uh, we got one running up on, an, on, a, on a previous channel. We'll kind of show you guys that later. Uh, but this one right here, we're going to try to get running tonight. So uh, don't know a whole lot about it. Kind of show you the motor here. Very interesting little subject. So we've got this quite small <laughs> little 12 horsepower uh, motor here, uh, one cylinder. Uh, from what I read up on them, they were basically uh, used in a lot of uh, like kind of like a motorcycle style engine. So a lot of people don't know is, you know, BMW, they made they made motorcycles. They actually even made um, uh, airplanes and stuff. So if, if you look at the emblem of a BMW, uh, that's supposed to actually be the propellers up against the, the sky there is what that kind of represents on the BMW uh, logo there. So uh, anyway, so yeah, that's a little bitty motor. She is locked up, so we're going to start on the, on the usuals of pulling out the spark plug, trying to see if we can get it to work back and forth. Uh, normally, me and Dad have had pretty good luck with getting a lot of this stuff up and running. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of favor with small engines. You know, lawn mowers, weed eaters, stuff like that. Uh, they just don't like me for some reason. So uh, we're going to dig in. We're trying something a little bit new today. Hopefully everything looks okay, sounds okay. I know we normally run through those tests, but we figured you guys would let us know if something was off there. But uh, we've actually got Christian. You can come out here. So we've got Christian. Uh, Whoop. So there messing, we go. <laughs> messing stuff up, apparently. Messing stuff up. So she'll actually be able to change scenes and stuff from out here with us now. So mm -hmm. hopefully she'll be able to get on some comments, maybe help us out as well. Yeah. Uh, she can change scenes, and she won't actually have to just be sitting behind the computer the whole time. So mm -hmm. 
We'll try that out. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Uh, I want to show you guys around the car real quick. Y'all don't say too much. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the little uh, little motor I was telling you about. Just a closer view here. Uh, a little bitty old one barrel carburetor on it. But like I said, it looks real similar to like a motorcycle or a three wheeler or something like that. Look how little that little coil is. <laughs> so small. I bet it carries a good shock to it though. Yeah. So right in here is this is actually what they call a a, a dynastart on these, so actually the starter and the generator, which is gonna recharge your battery and everything, it's all built into this unit. So on some of the uh, other IZs we've worked on, we've had issues with those not wanting to work right. So inside the car here, uh, you can tell it's got, it's got some rust, but the floor pans are still visible <laughs> in, in most areas. Uh, missing the seat and all that. We do have the pedals down there. The old odometer here shows, uh, man, I can't even read there. The needles, needles 1,600 miles, which I can't imagine these got a whole lot of mileage on them. Uh, they say that they, they went about 50 miles an hour, which I can't even imagine that. But The door up front here, pretty unique design on these cars. So that's how you get in them. The door would open up, the steering wheel goes with it, you crawl in. Uh, most of the time these would have a roof and then there's one, there's one exit hole in case you was to get smashed in. They did have a sunroof or something you could crawl out of, but uh, you know, a little four speed yeah. transmission over there, the shifter. And if, it was, if it was too bad a wreck, they just left you in it. Yeah. Yeah, so thanks everybody for joining. Uh, like I said, we're just going to dig in, kind of show you around here. Uh, look at the oil real quick. Where there does have some wiring issues we're going to have to address. That's a lot there. As far as the oil goes, it's you know definitely on the stick. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, So we got, we do have oil. It doesn't look milky, but I know on that 35 dad's all, he doesn't know where to stand. <laughs> no, I was coming to get some tools. I know on that, uh, so on the side angle, we'll have to be squatted. On the <laughs> 35 Ford, we checked the oil. We're like, oh, it looks great. You know, maybe a little over full has some fuel in it or something like that. And uh, if you haven't seen that episode, that motor was just locked up solid and it was full of water. It just, the stick, uh, it wasn't showing it. I guess they were just the oil was sitting on top. Maybe the stick wasn't even long enough and all that. So uh, hopefully no water's gotten down in here. It is locked up, so we're going to have to get it to turning over a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to think what else to kind of explain. Like I said, just a one-cylinder motor. Uh, really simple design on these things. I don't know a lot about the transmissions, how they work, or if this will work, or, or what we're going to have going on. But uh, first things first, I guess, Dad, if you want to go ahead and pull that spark plug out. All right. Try to get a little fluid down in it and see if we can't get it to work back and forth. Try to grab something to work on that. Oh, you got my ratchet. Yeah, I got you. I'm done with it, though. So if you need it, it's sitting right here. No. Plug don't look too bad, but uh, so everything's pretty much you know is metric on these cars. They were uh, made in Germany. They were made in uh, the UK as well, I believe. Um, so I'm not sure exactly if this one come from Germany or the United Kingdom or what. Not highly, highly. Uh, there's some guys that. The, the IZETA guys that have these things, man, they know them. They know where every part is. They know them inside and out. So uh, I'm not one of those guys. We just happen to like them and happen to come across a few of them. So we are hoping that this thing will try to fire up. Uh, none of, we've looked at the tires. So like three of them are missing the valve stems completely. So they're not going to air <laughs> up. So we had a game plan. If we can get two, or we, I guess if three of them are missing valve stems, we'd only get one. But... Try to get a back tire to air up. 
and maybe leave it on these coasters and see <laughs> see if it'll at least roll around. So if nothing else, I'll push you. Yeah. <laughs> We can put, we're just going to put some transmission fluid down in that cylinder, try to work it back and forth, uh, see if we can get it to break loose some, and then we're going to need to address a lot of this wiring to see if we can get this Dynastart to turn over. So, Hard to stay squatted down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I got too much weight to put on these big old feet. So I see where someone asks, is that a convertible or is the roof cut off? So I kind of wondered the same thing uh, when we first got it. Oops. But uh, it's actually, you can see where it had been cut here um, along. They did, a, they did a, a really good job on it. So it's not a bad job, but it, it would have been a, an actual bubble top, uh, full top car, and someone, someone cut it down. So probably won't take a whole lot. I think most of it went out the side of it, though. I wonder if I pulled the funnel back. It just there ain't broke through that much. I didn't think about that, yeah. Get a paper towel, see if I can't wipe some of it up. I made a pretty good mess. That stuff's too expensive. Dude. Yeah. It cost you more than a gallon of gas for a quart of it. So we're just going to try to work it just a little bit back and forth. A lot of the times if you can just get just a little bit of a movement, uh, we've said before when these things are locked up, uh, we've, we've often used transmission fluid because it'll, it'll burn out well later, but sometimes you need to put diesel down in them, sometimes you need to put uh, Marvel Mystery Oil works well in them, uh, all kinds of different solutions you can put down in them. Uh, sometimes they've just got to sit there and soak a while too, so. Uh, kind of hesitant about putting too much weight on the. Yeah, I think there's a, it is moving a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think there's a body mount or something that's come loose. <sighs> Wouldn't think it'd take much. Get him. Ooh. Trying to roll with me. Oh, we had a shorter bar. I'm thinking, take. Oh, we got a transmission fluid like <laughs> yeah. underneath here. I was say, it's pretty nasty. We got it going everywhere. <sighs> Pushing the whole car around. Yeah, that's what I felt like it was doing. Try not to push this out of the camera. I have to have it. <laughs> yeah, it's moving. Like I said, that little cylinder can't be can't be very big, so you're only fighting a which yeah. doesn't mean it's only. Yeah. Took a good little turn then. Yeah. I wish I had something I could just work a regular old breaker bar. Turn. See a little fluid coming out of it. I don't want to twist it off. <laughs> oh, there it went. It went all at once. <laughs> Try to go back the other way. Good leaf turning now. Not too bad either.
Oops. I hear it breathing out the carburetor. I'm probably standing right in the way of everything on this camera. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. Uh... Don't take much to get a full turn on this. I think that'll probably. I'm going to at least turn it over. My hand. So what we're going to do, we did get it to break free. And uh, so now, so to explain this a little bit better to the best of my knowledge, uh, on this Dynastar, we've got a hot that comes out here. This, this would have been our main cable, I believe, that went into our solenoid. So I'm not sure why they had it undone here. Uh, but you, once you get juice from your starter solenoid or your starter relay over to this, uh, that's what juices and spins it. There's some little contacts in here. So we may have to clean those up. We may have to get those, uh, get some sandpaper or something to get it where it's turning over. Uh, to do like that. So what we're going to do is since how that's off and we're missing our we're missing the main positive cable and we're missing the main negative cable as well. We're just going to take a, a 12 volt battery and some jumper cables and just see if we can get it to try to move over uh, just grounding out the, the to the motor here and jumping those across there. So we're going to get that see how that turns over and see if we're going to have to tear this apart to clean up inside there. battery over here. Oh. Uh, da, da, da. You just want to sit right there on the ground? Uh, there should be a little board somewhere set on. So Noel asked if it's if it's basically a motorcycle motor. So yeah, this is pretty similar to just what would have been on a, uh, on a motorcycle. It's around a 297 cc, I believe, what I read. So 12 horsepower. I mean, there's motors that are way bigger than that on these zero turn mowers that you get nowadays. I mean, those, those, mower, or those motors are big on those things. But it, actually, it has a four speed transmission in it, which just blows my mind. But if they say to get up around 50, 55 miles an hour, and around 70 miles per gallon. So these things were just crazy good on fuel mileage. So, but yeah, it's just basically a little motorcycle engine. You want the, the hot end or the not hot end? Uh, Whichever end I give you, huh? Find a place to ground here. Yeah, you did a pretty good job of getting yeah, that transmission for you. Got it everywhere. Try that. Keep everything. So I'm trying to stay out of y'all's way where we can actually <laughs> see here. Probably need to be on the other side, but yeah, let me get over here. Make okay. it a little easier. You're fine. So yeah, I'm just basically going to take this jumper cable here, touch it across here where the, uh, the power would have been running from the solenoid, and hopefully she turns over for us, or at least tries. I'm not left-handed. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, goodness. Spraying out. Yeah. <laughs> well, that means we got some compression. Yep. You can pop it on the inside, Christian, see if it squirts okay. any more out. Here we go. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's a little fog. It's a little fog there. there. It's a quiet little thing. Yeah. So yeah, here, let me show you guys a little better on this GoPro. 
up inside there, when I turn this over, you'll see uh, where it's kind of sparking from those contacts and stuff. Uh, it's not turning over too terribly bad. Um, the one we had before, we had to spend a lot of time uh, cleaning all that up and had to tear that all apart and stuff like that. So, uh, try it out real quick. Turn the light off. There you go. Pretty cool design. As it spins, it also re recharges the battery. So, all right, Christian. Okay. So we've got her turning over. Uh, probably just going to let it turn over a little bit more uh, just to get all that transmission fluid out the best we can. Then we need to try to move forward and see uh, about if, it's, if we're getting any spark to the plug. Um, you can see the points down in there. They are opening and closing, but they're not sparking in between there, which we know that because there's no wires run to any of the ignition st uh, stuff right now. So we'll try to run a wire straight to our cool and see if we get any spark. And we'll probably have to clean the points up just a little bit. Uh, may go ahead and clean them anyways. But we'll try it first just to see if it happens to get any spark. Uh, but that'll be our next go-to. So I guess we'll just need a wire. Wire. Still got a little bit of a tough spot every once in a while in there. Crazy that it turns over as well as it does. I know it. It'll be a lot louder than that, though, if, <laughs> yeah, once if it, she cranks up. Once she cranks up and starts breathing the way she needs to. So I don't know. We may have to move our battery a little closer. I'm just going to hook this in on our cool here, which ain't got a little rusty, so I'll try to get the best connection I can. You're probably going to, yeah, I guess you can just use that clamp there to clamp it. So Elliot Henning asked, are Isetta's originally a six volt? So yeah, this probably would have been a six volt, uh, but the thing about it is we can actually run it off 12 volt. So on, on this, we're, we are using a 12 volt battery. Um, you're not going to want to run it real long or you'll end up burning up the points and all that stuff. But for what we're trying to do to just try to crank it up, uh, we're going to use a 12 volt. Uh, it's going to allow it to turn over a little faster at the starter there as well. But yeah, it probably would have been in 55, probably would have been a 6 volt. This thing's been setting up for almost 50 years, so I don't think that any of that stuff had been converted over. <laughs> hook it to it. Yeah, let's just hook that to it and we can see if it tries anything. Okay. Let's try to, yeah. I'll let you do go ahead and do that. That way I'm not crossing over. So we should get some spark in these points in here. Uh, we're not. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just disconnect that, and I'm going to clean them points up a little bit. Eugene says, sounds like my cordless drill. <laughs> So Christian here on this GoPro, yeah. if you can show them. I don't know if you guys can see down in there, uh, right there between this, I've got these points. They're opening and closing. They just stayed open for some reason. We did have some breaks, so I need to be careful on that. I hope I just not break those. Try it. I'm afraid I did. And I want to close back. So yeah, on our last Isetta, those, those broke. <laughs> yeah, we had to order them from, I don't remember, some, some country, New Zealand, New... I don't know, yeah. We tried to rig the other ones, and they worked like one time. Back. Yeah. Well, that's not good. Oh yeah, I see it. It broke in half. 
<laughs> yeah, that's not good. Um, <laughs> the joys of live. The joys of live and, and no replacement part. Right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. We need to get down to this area to see if there's anything we can do to try to get those to close back. Uh, you'll see why it broke. There was maybe one thin little little edge of it holding place there. Uh, mechanic Kid said, whatever happened to the red Izetta? Um, so we've actually had two red Izettas. Uh, I don't know if he's talking about the one that we showed earlier. It, it sold. Uh, well, both of them have sold, but we had, a, we had one a while on back that it sold. Uh, went to around New York, I think. I don't know if we can pop that in gear. That might help to not this spin over. Something. I don't know what it did, but okay. I'm gonna try to break it loose with this impact. Got it. Got it. Get this fan off here. We can see a little better. This one's a little hard to. Uh, this one's hard to film. Show everything. Come out of there. You may have to figure out how to get it out, but I hope we get that far where it's. Uh, an issue. An issue. Uh, you may have to grab that light. It's, it's going to be hard. It's a little dark. So, I don't know if you guys oh, can see, see it. it. It's broke right in half right there. A little spring loaded. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I'm trying to think of what we can do to try to make that work. So yeah, the part that actually runs down over here to this side, it just broke in half. It didn't look like it needed much persuasion. No, all I did was open it up and it just... Uh, man, I don't know what to do on that. Let's see. I'm gonna try to pull the points off though. Flat blade. So Jeffrey asked, uh, when will the Herbie video be out? And we're shooting to have that video out by the end of May. Is that what we decided? Yep. So, yep. so yeah, so we're working really, really hard. It's been working on it for a couple of months. But uh, yeah, it should be coming out at the end of May. Yeah, we're really excited about getting that video out. And, uh, I was telling them, so we had a little, what we call a little pre-game chat on our Facebook page, uh, just a sit down chat uh, live deal. And I would best explain it to like, it's like the restored the movie. <laughs> I had to explain it to somebody. So about an hour long video from a uh, start to finish on that beetle. One way to Uh, thank you, Norm, for the $20 donation saying, watching from the western North Dakota. Found you got guys through the Vice Grip Garage. Really enjoy your live stream. Cool. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we appreciate it. I, I think uh, Derek brought several people over over to our, our channel, so we appreciate Derek for all he's done. Uh, Bob says, what's up with the top? Is this a convertible? And it actually was a bubble top. And so someone just got the idea to uh, basically cut the top of it off. And uh, yeah, so it looks a lot like a convertible, but it's, it wasn't originally like that. Yeah, it, it may have been that it had enough damage or something on top that mm -hmm. I noticed the top of the, the door right there has some damage on it now where it's been flattened out. So 
It right. May, may have been a lot easier just to cut the top off than. Yeah, if y'all haven't uh, seen the first Isetta that we did uh, from this little package deal, uh, you can pull that up. So it was a it was a challenge too, and I was really hoping this one wasn't going to be in the same way, but uh, at least we had something to work with on that other one. But it was, man, it was locked up solid. It had dirt all in the uh, in the pistons and the heads. It was just clogged up. Uh, we ended up having to pull the motor off of it and, and actually replace it. And she forgot all about that <laughs> video, I guess. Christian. Um, so an unzoned out, so <laughs> I guess so. I just clicked with me when you said that, and I'm like, oh, I guess I forgot about that. Go check it out if y'all haven't seen it. Uh, she can pull it up here real quick just to kind of show you guys. Uh, like I said, that motor in it was, water just went straight down in it. Everything was completely locked up and uh, ended up putting another Volkswagen motor on it and got it run. So it was a two-parter, but we did get it running. I can't, that thing needs to be out of gear. Bear with us, guys. Having a little trouble getting these points <laughs> off of here. Straight back. Won't work. I'm back. I came back about three quarters of an inch on oh, the shaft. Yeah, still in gear. No, there it goes. Almost got my finger. Well, I tried. Can't get that middle part to come off there. Joe Durning said, run outside and steal points from one of the other Izettas. Dad and Christian, Christian can tap dance while we wait. I really wish we could, but this, like I said earlier, this was the only one that had a Izetta engine. Had an Izetta motor on it, so the other one was a Volkswagen engine, so mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. I'm just trying to get it off where I can show you guys and hoping a miracle happens. Surely that thing don't have to pull off. I'm just wondering. Oh, Vice Grip's here. Oh, is he? <laughs> uh-huh. Tell, hey. tell him to run us down some points for a 55 <laughs> BMW Isetta. It just needs a hair more to come out of there. Uh, Gene asked, can I come by and pick up a shirt in person? And you absolutely can. Uh, they're $25, and we have all three styles here. Um, except for we don't have a large in the original tie-dye flag shirts right now, but yeah. There we go. There you go. Got one part of it now. I just need to get the part that's wired in off here. Get a little penetrating oil spray on that. I have to say, you never know how these things are going to go, but this is not what I expected. <laughs> you know, I feel bad because I'm like right in front of the uh, the camera that. Oh, I've been keeping an eye on it, so you're good. Nobody's turn complaining that light yet. Off. It's kind of, kind of blindy. Yeah, like I said, the, the last time we had to get some points, we had to order them from overseas, and it took like three weeks to get them in. So I don't know that y'all want to hang out that long with us. <laughs> this was actually kind of just a spur of the moment. Will it run? We weren't for sure what we were going to try to wrestle this yeah. week. So. We was like, man, that little Isetta would be cool. I know if I'm gonna say that even if I it wouldn't have broke then they would have broke once oh, yeah. they were once it started doing anything. Turning over better. If I can get this off and unwire that, and try to figure something a little smaller, so it's gonna be about a nine or eight.
told you, small engines don't like me. Yeah. Or maybe it's just I don't like small uh, engines. Zach asked, did they make ads for this car? And we kind of did our research, but I think they were mostly German ads. In, in German, yep. Yeah. Well, I guess because this was a, a German car, right. correct? Correct. Can you, uh, I'm going to need something to hold that right there. So it's turning both of them, just a pair of needle nose okay. or something. Oh, I'm getting hot. i got to take my hat off. Yeah, we got I'm the air conditioner running yeah. too. <laughs> Don't tell them that. I'm thinking about faking a passing out so Dad and Christian can just finish this up. Yeah. Figure out what they want to do. Need that light. Uh, just need to hold that, that thing that's right there. Broke off. Yeah. That's what's twisting. Oh. Wish I could get it out far enough. To... Uh, Jeffrey asked, do you all have day jobs and just do this for the extra income and fun? And actually, this is our full-time job. So uh, we've been do, doing YouTube for a while. And uh, yeah, so we've been, we like the lives and... That's just our job. Well, Dad, actually, with it. I actually have a full-time job. I guess so. He's the one. He he's got to have the extra. <laughs> I've got these two kids. I got to feed. Mm-hmm. About got it, guys. Keep keep stalling them, Christian, for about. Oh, 30, 40 minutes. Be good. Anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes to three weeks. I mentioned earlier this happened to one IZ on us, and I'm embarrassed to even say what we did, but we might be about to do it right now. <laughs> uh, Cohen said, what are you going to do when you get the points off? All right. So. We'll pray again. <laughs> so, uh, I wish what? we had a good soldering. Yeah. I'll show you guys, uh, Dad, if you want to hold this or hold that. So here's our points. Uh, what happened here is that needs to be pushed. Which way does that go? Downwards. Yeah. You might you angle show your camera it, just a little bit up. There you go. This should have actually been. So see that little metal strap there that goes down to that? She just broke right in half. Uh, one time we just tack welded it. We took, a, took the MIG welder and turned it down as far as we could and put a little tack on it. I mean, I don't really know what else. There's no way to cut a new strip of that, is there? Just a new little piece of. Uh, I don't know how you would get it attached. Uh, back to this part of it. Mm. All right, we're brainstorming here, guys. Try to figure out how to make this work if we can. Yeah, any yeah. suggestions would be great. Yeah, any yeah. suggestions uh, other than go buy some points because mm -hmm. if we could have done that, we would have. Yeah, I have a few people saying JB Weld it. Yeah, I don't know. Only bad, one bad thing is it looks like when it broke, it a lot of it did break. Is like there anything it come we can steal off of a set of points? Uh, Let me see if I can get that off. So if you got that off, it'd have to, yeah, we could slide it in that. I don't know how, I don't know how to connect to that. to that, yeah. Man, that stinks. Uh, some said use a car or motorcycle points. Uh, Art said to maybe try a Volkswagen set. Um, These things are so little. I mean, I've <laughs> it, it was going to take something like, like coming, a lawnmower or something coming from like a motorcycle or something, and we don't have we don't have nothing. I would say this is the worst thing that could have happened, but I guess, I guess it could have never even come on, unstuck, and then, but at least then we could have tore it apart. And right. 
with no fire, uh, she's not going to fire. It's, it's missing. What's bad is off that strap, when it busted in half, there's more than, it just, it's more than just it busting in half. I'm I thought afraid. I seen something kind of fall to the bottom of the yeah. thing there. I wasn't sure. As thin as that is, I don't think that there's any way that I could even, like you said, if you could solder it or something, but. Um, so it actually goes through to that thing right there. Maybe if it would fit up inside there and you wedge. wedge yeah. Okay. Let's see, is that piece there? Darkside Harley Girl said, wait, I'll send you some CT90 Honda points. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what I got. We got there. Dad gonna try to uh, save the day here. And if not, uh, at least we'll have somebody to blame. But uh, I'm going to jump on some comments real quick while he decides if this is even going to be somewhat doable. So got about 900 people watching. Once again, thanks for hanging out. Uh, the fun thing about these lives is you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And it's always cool to see a victory when that stuff happens. But, you know, sometimes you don't <laughs> always see the victory right then. So mm -hmm. uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, replace with steel or with spring steel. So we, Dad's got another set of points that were, I think they were from a uh, Volkswagen. Actually, we're trying to get that spring part out and kind of wedged up in there, just to make it where it'll maybe try to work. But who knows? I mean, it's kind of one of those things that this is something that on the edited stuff you you completely edit out mm -hmm. and it just looks smooth. Yeah, it looks smooth. Or you buy some points and it and it goes good. So. Uh, I really wish we had an extra part, uh, IZ or something like that. We've got plenty of extra parts, IZs, but none of them have an engine. <laughs> well, I've definitely got these other set of points where they're not usable for anything, so if well, I destroy them, then While I've got these out, I'm going to clean up the, clean them pretty good. I honestly thought we would fight the uh, carburetor. That's what I figured. I figured we were going to fight that dinosaur thing. It's just not spinning over. It needs a good set of points up. The tips of these are all pitted out, anyways. Uh, Cohen asked, "What are you going to do when the uh, with the Izetta if you get her running?" Um, so we may end up trying to put this one up for sale. I've got another one that I think we'd rather keep. Um, uh, that's a little bit, a little bit better shape on the sheet metal and stuff. Uh, so we might end up posting this one for sale, maybe putting it on eBay or something. You want to get where the, on that side where they can kind of see. Oh. Philly said that will be their going right, to town rig. <laughs> Which one? She's using that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> He's like, I was like, can you get over there? And he like, <laughs> backs up closer to that one. Yeah, we have, we've just been doing this for months. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're grounded. Normally, <laughs> normally we don't have to like stay squatted down on right. the line, so. These are pretty clean. What do you think? I might be able to get it to squeeze down in there. I'm just, just going to have to cut some oh. of it off of it first. That part there. Hopefully we can make this work. And if not, it's uh, right. Scrub asked if that piece was made of copper. It looks like copper on that one, yes. On this piece? Is that not copper? I don't think it so. It looks like it? copper to me. <laughs> I 
And now it rests like that. So I think we put it on there backwards. Oh wait, I went with is it the gone? I thought it went like Yeah, it goes like that. So that thing, see what I mean? Unless I can put it yeah, up I can't, under. I can't go the right. other way with it because it won't. Let me try to put it up under then. This might work, guys. I don't know who prayed that this would go back together good, but we appreciate it. I dropped the ball again and give up. I didn't even start to pray before we should. Darkside Harley, Harley Girl, thank you for the $20 donation. Said, I got my autographed shirt from you all. Thanks so much. And thank you. Yeah, thank you, everybody that's ordered merch. Uh, we're getting at a spot where we're going to almost have to <laughs> put another uh, batch in, a new, a new order. So, Yeah, speaking of merch, uh, I can kind of talk about that. Uh, we have our original tie-dye flag shirts. Um, it has our logo on the back, and then it also has Be Restored on the front. So that's, I think we have all the sizes except for large right now. We're completely out of that one. And then we also have Old Betsy shirt, which is, we did a station wagon not too long ago, and that's what that one is. Uh, the art was done by Micah Doodle. He did a great job on that. And uh, it also has a, our Be Restored logo on the front. Then we also have my Uncle Frankie on a shirt. So if y'all have watched that uh, shirt that, or not shirt, the show video that had the abandoned cars on there, that's what that one's from. So um, it has the logo on that one too. And you can get all those at www.be-restored.com. And they're each, each shirt is $25. So. so Christian, if you can uh, do the GoPro real quick. Yeah. So hey guys, we're gonna show you. <laughs> uh, we're gonna kind of show you what we did here. So this piece is the part that Dad took off these points uh, right here. So whatever they were for, they are no more. <laughs> we took that part off. He had to cut a little bit off the length. It's close. We might have to cut a little bit more off the length, but it looks like it might work. So we're gonna try to get it put back up inside here. And then I gotta connect that wire back to it and. Uh, and then we'll be back to where we started. <laughs> <laughs> An hour in, we're going to be back where we started? I know, that's sad. It's going by so fast. I don't know. This is like mm -hmm. the fastest one that's went by. Uh, let's see if I can get him in there. They were hard getting out when it was two pieces. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, you would think it probably needs that piece out. But Yeah, I don't know if, if it takes like a pull, uh, puller or some sort. Or... Oh. Christian, let me know if we need to figure out a different way to show them what we're doing here. Okay. Because I know I'm all up in the way. Just trying to see what I'm doing myself. Dad can film with the GoPro if we got to. Bear with me here, just trying to get them piece back in there. There's no room, this little piece here needs to come off. But... All right. You go to this GoPro, Christian? Yes, I can switch to that, there you go. You might move it a little bit more to the right. Nope. I may have Other to watch right. on the TV. That's what I was. Go on there. It's so tight. That piece there just won't hardly fit in there. I don't remember. I think I had it right in that area. Maybe. Hmm. Can't get that piece to go up over that shaft. Uh, what do you need? That light. I'm trying to do it without a light, but 
If you listen closely, you'll hear me talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> I've got it going our way, kind of. If I can get that to go a little bit more. Let's see. Huh? Let's start to do a needle nose if you need something to run on top of the battery there. Yeah, I need, a, I need it to push more on there. So I need like that flat blade screwdriver. I don't know if this is doing a whole lot of good there, because it's not right back here. I got my head right in their way. <laughs> Probably. You're okay. <laughs> Can't get it to go on that screw that adjusts them there for some reason. Well, somebody noticed some of your grays. <laughs> Felt my shirt coming up back there. I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't that thing go on there? For some reason, that's not wanting to. That base, you know, yeah, it's it, like it's it hanging that on. That screw there. Right there? Yeah, yeah no, yeah. it's like something on this back side. Yeah, that's supposed to go kind of right on. Barely fits over that. It's like something on the back side's keeping it from going. I can't figure out what it is. Maybe. Uh, thank you, Mr. Magoo, for the $5 donation. Said taken off the cover will, great, will help greatly. Um, yeah. That's not going to help. I, I mean, yeah. I can, I'm still inside. Still I can fast. get to where I'm trying to get right here, but I don't want to dig into it too much, but we may have to if I can't get it to go pretty soon. Can't figure out what it's. What's well, pushing back against yeah, it? Yeah, something's pushing back against it. Huh. Don't want to have to take it back off. It just is some, it's something solid there, though. I'm gonna have to take it, take it back off. Longest awkward silence. Ever. <laughs> That's yeah. funny you Tell said that because someone said, "LOL, awkward silence." <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Crown Town Brewing. Yeah, <laughs> that means it's a that. really long one because that delayed. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said the video stopped. <laughs> I don't know if that's what's happened or. <sighs> Working cannot... hands said they're concentrating. Uh, you want to give it a go? I can try. Sometimes tag teaming them. I think they're going to have to come off. I don't know that that metal strap's uh, too Damn long, enough. and it's putting it. It's putting it at an angle. Uh, the copper mustache said, Christian, is this going to be your new company car? And I'm still waiting on my Ranchero, so I'm holding out for that. So, no, this one probably won't be, but I'm sure it would be fun to, fun to ride, too. I hate we're an hour into this thing. Mm-hmm. And we got it turning over. <laughs> that was probably within the first 10, 15 minutes. Right. 
That made my back hurt. <laughs> uh, Jean Mears said, Christian, how old are you and Lance? It's nice to see your brother and sister get along so good. Um, so I'm 18, about to turn 19, which you're 16 years. I'm 34, yeah, so. so yeah, but yeah, we, we just do it for the cameras and stuff. Just yeah, try... we, we fight behind scenes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we all get along pretty good. They actually got another sister uh, between us, so mm -hmm. and she's 32. Mm -hmm. so. No luck? Not really. I said I can't see what's what's fighting against us back there. There's a hole in the, on the back side of those points that just barely fits over that shaft it goes on, but I don't know if it's just not quite, you know, it's like angled, so it's... Right. Well, we didn't really want to use it this early, but uh, <laughs> we're going to do a little, little, uh, some tricks to somewhat entertain y'all for maybe two minutes tops. <laughs> so uh, we'll flash over to a really cool little ad we got put together here of these BMW IZs real quick. back so soon, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we uh, haven't really progressed any yet. We're still trying to get that thing to pop down on there. Something's out of, out of whack. Or... Yep. I see we've had some suggestions about pulling the cover off. So the cover is actually just this cover right here. So it's not going to give us any more access to where we're trying to get to right there. We can see, you know, uh, this hole is big enough to kind of be able to get to all that. Um, so that's really not going to do us much good to pull that cover off. But I do think I may have to pull them back out and re-stab them again, maybe. Something is just making that thing a little off, uh, off there. It, it just it. doesn't want to go that that little bit more that needs to go down on there. That. So what we're doing is, uh, it's surely the definition of rigging for sure. <laughs> so. so I'm gonna get the screw out now. I'll let you have this spot back. I'm gonna try to pull it off just a hair. I honestly feel like that spring thing is too, too long, long, and it's hitting on that cam, which opens the points up and down. 
it's not allowing it to, to flex in because it can't. It's too, I mean, yeah, I can see it here. That's exactly what it is. It's hitting that right there. Now I'm going to just try to get them back out of here. It was kind of hard getting it out. With the right points that were tore apart. Yeah. There we go. I got it there. Now if I can just get that. I still think that's too long on that other part. Jeff RG says it's not rigged, it's custom. <laughs> Very custom then. See, now they're just going to stay there. open. Well. Of those. Yep. Yep. Definitely gonna have to come back off now. Yep. But I'm like you, I think they were a little long to begin with. Maybe I can. All right, so I did get it on there and then I turned the motor over and it just <laughs> came off. Killed them back off. Man, oh man. This is one of those when you're like, if you were actually shooting a video, you'd probably just say, ah, forget it. <laughs> yeah, we'll order the points, wait three weeks. Definitely would do that. Of course, we did fast. find out they're not called points, they're called contacts, so. Now I can't get that to turn because it's bending on the wrong way. I need it to go. I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up just trying to get that back. I don't know what to do. It's now it's in a spot. Yeah. Yeah, I see what it is, but I'm needing it to go. Yeah, have to push them. I still have to push them in just a hair. Yeah, there's just that one spot where it'll come out. Man alive. Why would they make it that close? Apparently I'm not at that one spot. See what it's doing? It's, mm -hmm. it's hanging on that and I'm afraid it's gonna. Well, there's that option. Awkward silence again. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We're <laughs> so busy trying to figure out everything that we're not paying a whole lot of attention to y'all. We're sorry about that. <laughs> and Christian, she's supposed to be singing or dancing or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's encouraging to know that 922 people haven't left, though. Well, I mean, I'm sure some of them have, but... Uh, no, we've kept a steady number, so... Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, thank you all for, uh, for hanging out. I know that there's probably a lot, a lot better things y'all could be doing, but... Like nailing your eyelids to the <laughs> coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, play it in the road. Uh, <laughs> Getting stung by fire ants. <laughs> <laughs> but he decided to hang with us instead. <laughs> You'll be able to tell your grandkids. Yeah, I watched through the whole suffering thing. We've already used all our ammunition, haven't we? Our backup ammunition, Christian? Yeah, I had a few people asking if we had any more commercials. <laughs> No, we could. We were, we were having trouble finding stuff, and I was like, "Oh, one should be fine," because we had a couple on the dump truck, and then it just 
fired right up real easy. So I was like, ah, oh, one one should be good. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I was about 99 off. Yep. You may, Christian, you may want to call Ashley and have her go ahead and bring us some supper up here. Yeah. Maybe an all-nighter. And breakfast, and then <laughs> tomorrow's supper, and then yeah. that next day's <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, so someone said uh, uh, the color kind of matches the, the beetle back there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's pretty close. We're on the, uh, to give you guys an update on that, you can see it's missing the fenders and, and all that stuff. So we're doing what I would kind of told you all before. We're converting it to look more like an earlier beetle, beetle. So we're converting the fenders, hood, deck lid. Uh, to look like a more period correct car of what we're building. So that's going to be Herb 2.0. So we're about to do the paint on it. We're about to do logo. So she's actually going to be a shiny car. Uh, we don't do that a whole lot around here. So she's going to be shiny. Doing the, so next week we'll probably be doing... i got to weld in the tail pan for the new deck lid and stuff like that. And we've got a cool little pick we're going on. Uh, uh, my preacher's dad actually gave us a car, so an old Trans Am. I don't remember. Do you remember what year it was? 90. No, it's like 88 or something. I That's think. what I said. <laughs> they can't I, see my lips. I don't, I don't know, know why I asked you. <laughs> well, anyways, we got to go pick that up this Friday, next Friday. And uh, then I'm going to have Christian help me lay out the stripes and stuff like that. She's helped a lot on this uh, little car. Going again, guys. Okay, this is the third time. Third time's charm. I know I skipped number two, but I think we'll go ahead and get right, right to it. Tell them something about yourself, Mr. Bush. <laughs> I can tell some dad jokes. In that case, y'all just watch in uh, awkward just silence. Just sit in awkward silence. Thank you, Tim Neely, for the $20 donation. <laughs> Cohen said, you were right, small engines don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. And I have, it's a, it's a mutual thing right there, mutual feeling. Yeah, that was, that's definitely true, because he, uh, I don't know where I'm at. I'm over here, Christian. Hmm. He, he told me that he said, I hate this one here. He said, I hope we, we have a whole lot of luck with this or blessing or something. But he said, because these small engines are just waiting for me to start in on them so I, they can blow up on me. <laughs> Someone said, show gun, like that. Shogun's Grub Run. Call it in. What now? Who said that? <laughs> Their name's Shogun, but they said Shogun's Grub Run. Call it in. Oh, that <laughs> we've sounds been good. <laughs> we've been talking about that for a week now. Yeah. You thought it was your wife. Yeah, she, I was like, like, is she finally? Really? She's watching? <laughs> <laughs> for the first time in history. <laughs> Sorry, Ashley. <laughs> it turns, so when it was turning over, do you remember which way it was going? It was clockwise. Clockwise? So this way? Yeah. Hmm. It's spring rubbing against the, the shaft there. Yeah. Still rubbing. So it needs quite a bit more off of it. Or <laughs> Shogun said, we're open. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll sponsor us. I've got them back in there, guys, but they're just not, not working here. So it's not wanting to spring, spring back.
Oh, I see the flat spot there. So it only it only hits it once. Once, I guess. I'm trying to get this where it. It it's just it. too. It's it's because the spring's still hitting the hitting the deal there. I mean, you can look at it, but that spring right. is way too long still. Mm-hmm. I wish that maybe if I put it in there, we can just bend the spring up. Yeah, some. I thought to say we might be able to. Where's that screw at? Right here. Spring the spring. It looks like man, you probably put it in there with your fingers first. But... I have good luck with these little oh, motors. Yeah. <laughs> you always seem to always have good luck with them. I don't know why. We gotta work on these all the time. Yeah. They're in there, guys, but they're not working. <laughs> when it opens up to. <laughs> For the gap, it's like a half inch gap spreads open in there now. I don't think the spark's gonna jump that far across. <laughs> a little wire's a little bit too long still. We've cut it twice. We're trying to rebend it in there. Something, I'm trying to do something. Why is this hurt my back? <laughs> Danny says they'll have it before the two hour mark. Thank you for the faith. <laughs> Maybe right through there, huh? Bend it up. Yep. Maybe. Any other questions? Uh, this will be a great opportunity to. Everyone's talking about food. That's how <laughs> that's how bored you got them. They're all just mingling by talking about food. <laughs> well, if somebody wants to make a burger run, I, I think you got plenty of time to get back. You know what's funny is our views have gone up. <laughs> really? Since y'all haven't talked, we're at 950 right now. Wow. Trying to find that flat spot where it... can't find it. It's just sitting there now. Right there. I can't. It's hard to see. Thought I'd just seen it come. Uh, out. Elliot asked, "What shape is the carburetor?" Um, Round. <laughs> <laughs> We're really not sure on it. Uh, yeah, we hadn't. Y'all been working Hadn't on that got the to whole that time. issue yet. Uh, I don't even know if the. No, actually, the the gas pedal actually moves a little bit. I did spray it down with some penetrate oil just in case. <laughs> I was very optimistic here. I I can turn it the full thing and it's not it's not hitting nothing. I've even got my finger against it. Stop. See what I mean? It's not changing anything. Maybe the points that this here needs to be further. Yeah, maybe so. Oh. Yeah. Hey, that might be enough to at least <laughs> see what yeah. it does, yeah. Hey, we're going to try this. I'm going to do a little bit more. I think I went the wrong way, didn't I? No, I don't think so. No? All right. We're going to, yeah, we have them. They are opening now. We have contact. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am extremely sorry about that, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you can prepare for that other than having extra parts that I told you we didn't have at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I didn't tell you that. We had a live chat before this on our Facebook page and we were telling those people, but 
we don't have no parts because you can't just go to O'Reilly's and get these. And like I said, we, we pulled it in yesterday, so it was kind of like a decision of yesterday of us trying this one out. Not early yesterday either. We're about to try it, guys. So, uh, Christian, you can probably switch it over to this. Good, yeah. I'm one step ahead of you. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Man, I jumped the gun. Let me put this wire back. <laughs> it's not going to work without that. Everybody's like, are you kidding me? Like, it's you made wire. us wait this whole time. <laughs> this whole time, yeah. I can't speak English. Uh, That's, there it is. <clears throat> so it wasn't going to work without that. It's the wire that sends the juice down to it. Please don't drop this lance. Nah, I got, I have me and these little small engines. Yeah, y'all are like, like twins. <laughs> it's funny, it's like a lot of these live streams, the ones that ha we have the struggle on now, they, they seem to keep people interested. Except me. I may need a little nine wrench because I bet I can't get that. Yeah. I bet you're going to have to get, there might be one over there. Uh, I bet there's not. Uh, I know where one's at. It's a 10. I'll go grab one. I got one at Shogun's. There's a 10. <laughs> I've already found four different tins, and you never can find them whenever you need them. Found a nine. Me too. <laughs> Lord, please in on let it. this work. It's kind of like one of those things where you like you hope it works, like and just like let the cool not be any good or something <laughs> yeah. that let that this we, part work. Yeah, let's at least let this part be working. Because if we need a cool, we're gonna have to like take half of a regular one or something. That thing's little. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Oh. Ain't nothing touching. <laughs> Something is though, ain't it? Something's sparking. We, I don't know how we're getting. Oh, I guess. Uh, okay. I don't know why it's sparking there. Hope y'all mad at the car trying to blow it up now. <laughs> the fire's not. I don't know where it would be grounding out at. So that wire, wait a second. I'm trying to make sure I'm on that wire even just come out. <laughs> so that's gonna be an issue there. That green wire, Okay, maybe we needed to run to this here. Let me try that. Still doing it. I need to figure out which wire on this coal would have been the hot one. I was assuming it went. That's going to have to be connected there. Man, this thing is just going all kinds of not good. I hate that pulled right out. Still doing it? No? A little spark. Let me try it.
and they're not opening and closing no more. Go figure. They were just opening and closing. Man, we're getting a lot of people's hopes up. Yeah. At what point do you go, well, I don't guess this is going to... That's crazy. They were just, just opening walking, and closing. Yeah. Not even trying. <clears throat> Opening just a little bit, but it's not. Yeah, but I got it adjusted all the way. I don't know. Nothing. Springs just not. No, it's not. It's like it sprung the wrong direction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it just blows my mind though that they were opening and closing and then by hand and then I turn it over and nothing. Hmm. Oh, Words wow. getting out there. Watch these monkeys. <laughs> Did is you know connected that thing back up. I mean they're working kind of, but not the way they need to be. And I think this one might be defeat. I really hate to take this much time with people and, and tell them it's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> that's strange. That's somebody that know pretty. Like I need a little bit more out of that adjustment, but I can't get it. It won't go no more. It's a shame to fight fight this for it just ain't gonna work now. I don't know what what made it change its mind. I mean they are moving, but yeah. just not enough to even even hook that up. I just wanna see if they even try. Yeah. I just need them to close more. <laughs> but that's like all the adjustment I'm getting out of it. See, once I go that other direction. I don't know. You want to mess with it or? I tried it. Or we want to say, so long. <laughs> they were working. Uh, I put that, you know, I forgot the little, the little wire that runs down to it. So once I put that back on there, when we actually try to turn it over, 
They're, they are opening, but they won't close all the way, and it's at the max of that adjustment screw. So I wish it didn't even have that adjustment screw there where you could adjust them on a little bit more, but it's just weird. Eugene said, oh, no, the expert is in. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get my pants hitched up so I don't... <laughs> Don't, don't flash everybody. Don't kill our, our group here. I guess the game plan will be is if we can't get that to work, we'll just make motor sounds and push you. Someone said that. <laughs> Quick, Someone Kristen, that go anyway. find an audio of a BMW running and we'll play oh, this. <laughs> I wouldn't tell the difference. <laughs> It's funny, everybody's just hanging out talking about what to eat for I supper. I know, that's what they have been doing. Church's chicken, Popeye's I've been hearing. All of it sounds good. It's like time went by really fast that first hour, but now it's, it's only it's an hour down, and 27 yeah. minutes. So. Someone was talking about ghost pepper salsa earlier. I was like, man, that sounds good. <laughs> legs won't be in the way they need to. I guess what we could do is just sit out here and just touch them together to send spark down there to the <laughs> try yeah. to time it. Uh, thank you Eugene for the five dollar donation said here's here's five dad get you some su get you some suspenders. Yeah. <laughs> Can't or some read. black paint. <laughs> yeah he was probably blinded by you and that's all his insurance would cover for that. <laughs> You're slowly but surely becoming the favorite. <laughs> like I said, it just needs that. I don't know what we can do to. Uh, Timothy asked what year it is. So it's a 1955. Yeah, 1955. It's crazy as we could get them working perfect and then who knows what other issues she might yeah. have. Thank you, you are, Kenneth, for the $2 super you've sticker. You've already seen that that wire has been pulled out, so. Yeah, which that's not a big deal. It just makes you wonder what, what is down here that's not allowing it to. On in. And because that spring, it's just, it's going, we took the slack and it's going out that way instead of making it to. Uh, Barry asked, how much did they cost in 1955? You know? I'm really not sure. That I, might be something interesting to do. I think they made up. around 120,000 of these little cars, uh, which ain't a whole lot, but man, they've got, there's a great market on them right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they're pretty high dollar. Some of these things restored, you know, 40, 50 grand for just a little old 12 horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> I could, I could pull my wife's mower in here. We could take a motor off it and maybe just switch it out a little yeah. bit faster. Uh, Wesley said, cut the floor out and Fred Flintstone in it. It's actually the floor. You probably could already without <laughs> even cutting it. So try to tweak the spring. Sometimes it just needs a little bit different angle. That, I think that is going to be a lot of our issues, but we've just, <laughs> it's kind of so much going the wrong way. We've got one, one end of it wedged up in there just to stay in place. And so when you try to tweak it, it pulls out some. And James says a motor swap might be faster. <laughs> I agree. 
Well, that's got them a good half inch apart and they're not moving they're at not all. They're not moving so. at all and it's already adjusted about as best it can go. So, <laughs> so I mean, I, I think you thought it wasn't going to run. I think I've got it for sure it's not going to. So. So small, you can't really get two people in to do this or do that. I, mm -hmm. I was wanting to try to figure out this these coil wires. Roger says in 1955 the BMW IZ started price started at two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars for those who wanted to know. Wow. I don't know how popular these cars were uh, back in the day. I read that they said that this is what saved BMW back in, hmm. in that time. So. Well, from that commercial, they made them to fly, too. <laughs> no, I've got it all. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I guess I bent that spring again or something because it's not. I'm going to give it, I'll, I can give it one more shot when you get tired of messing with it, and then we'll have to uh, apologize and give apologize everybody their money back. Apologize and maybe get out the white flag. Doug said, episode two live, coming soon. Uh, <laughs> so we're excited to get out, uh, we're excited to get out the little Herb 2.0 because mm -hmm. there won't be any issues that pops up on that, so. <laughs> yep. I'm just making it worse, bub, so. I got it to where it doesn't open at all, so. I'm looking around for some old points on something just in case. We have some old distributors over here. Well, we have one distributor. And it's electronic. Yeah, I'm not real sure what you. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm not real sure what happened there. Huh. I can't even find, I know we've got some old distributors, but I don't think it's going to do any good. No, I mean, about the only thing we had to... hope for was this, I think. I said I found a, one on this old Volkswagen engine, but I think that's what those points that I destroyed, because it looks just like those. In other news, she's turning over pretty good. <laughs> yes, she's. She'll spin over really good. Kenny Richards said, dig into it some more. If not, come back later with another video. <laughs> yeah, how many would y'all, how y'all would like to see this thing burning? <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid that's what we're going to have to do. Yep. I... I'm not real sure what's going on with it now. It's kind of confusing me of how this thing. We're trying to rig something. That... Yeah, rig something that's. Don't even know if it would ever even work. Our best bet is to go ahead and just uh, 
like somebody said, order some points off eBay and come running at it again on another video. I think possibly. on that other one, we had we had messed with. We couldn't even find nothing on eBay. It was something, some website we had to go through. Right. Danny says, "Have faith. It's not two hours yet." <laughs> I know, that's what I keep thinking too, but I'm like not making any headway and this is extremely boring to me. So I'm probably praying wrong because I'm praying, come on two hours, come on two hours. <laughs> uh, thank you, Eugene, for the $2 donation. Says, yeah, ask Lance if he's sure it's a 55, not a 56. He said, I adjusted that one screw there and it, it was like, nope, I'm not ever going to touch again. What did you say, Christian? I was. <laughs> uh, Eugene said to ask if you're sure it's 55 and not a 56. Um, I'm not, no, I'm not certain. I'd have to look at the title on it. Why's that? He, he just did a donation. Oh, yeah, I was just wondering why he might have asked that, if he knew something about. Uh, he said earlier that he thought that that's when they started making them and was 56, but. No, I believe it was, uh, they actually started making them in, in, in one country in like 52, I believe, but I think in, uh, they called them something else, though. But they were real similar to the Isaiah. I seen something that that said fifty five through sixty two, I think. I I'm, I'm not gonna swear by that, but Oh me, oh me. We should have picked a different vehicle. Mm-hmm. Well, we should have known. Normally, we, we struggle getting the video equipment set up and everything like that, and we yeah. were early today. Oh, yeah, we thought everything's working perfect. Everything's working, working perfect. perfect. Uh, I can't get it to do nothing. <sighs> I mean, I can't even get it when I hold it up against that shaft that opens it and closes. It won't, it does nothing. <laughs> it's right. like it's, I, I saw that flat spot, but it's, it's really hard to see. Like it should lift it, but it's not. See? No. It's still not touching it, Dan. Enough. It needs to be touching it more. Which means that would have to go downwards. Yeah, that was the way where I felt like mm -hmm. it was. Yeah, bottoming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it's not even springing back though now. can't because it's touching too much. I just knew we were going to at least get to see it spark when it's like, right. oh yeah, it's open and it's closing. It's wrong. Uh, we're, uh, we're fighting too many issues, I think. We're fighting that See, it needs to be springing yeah. back right there. It's a little bit more. So if I can get that to... And then adjust that spring. Well, that would be it right there, but it just needs to be closed there. That needs to be sprung. I don't know how to keep it spring loaded. That's they'd be open there. Close there. Uh, thank you, Eugene, for the $2 super chat. Say, God bless you all. Back to work. Good luck. Thanks, Eugene. I think that thing's so... Being out of shape. Being out of shape and... Everything that it's just gonna be really tough for it to try. 
I opened up, but that just wouldn't close back. Can I put a rubber band on it? <laughs> I wonder if you could. Something just to kind of, you know what I mean? Just need something like to do that, close it back. Yeah. I don't think we even have a rubber band though. Uh-uh. Christian, you got a rubber band? Um, yeah, I have, it's a thicker one, I think. Is it okay if it's thick or um, does it need to be real thin? Yeah, it kind of needs to be like a regular rubber band, like a, like my old, old timey ones that you don't hardly see anymore. No, I don't have one of those. I'm going to take one out of my hair real quick. I have my bun one. Go see something real quick. You can have this one. <laughs> it's not rubber, but you can have this one, and I'll switch it up for my uh, other ones. It's, that's too thick. It is. It's just yeah. a cloth one. All righty. Uh, Go ahead and sing for him, Dad. <laughs> smoke. We have smoke. Yes, we did get a little bit of smoke there. Just need a little gas, and this thing would have torched right on up. <laughs> it gets frustrating. <laughs> did you find one? No. You know it's still daylight out. Is it? <laughs> yeah, big time. So this is not a nightmare. <laughs> That's all it needs. Even if you had it going, running this other way, you know, I think it just needs something to keep that pulled down because that spring's not doing it. Yeah. Just wrap it around that and then down to that little screw right there. I think it will work. I think that thing I put in there, even though it's wedged in there, it never was. Springing. Springing, yes. Yeah. It was just in there. It's just it was just holding it in place is all it's doing. That might. Yeah. <laughs> Try, didn't it? Yeah. I have your uh, rubber band. I don't know if this one would work or not. Yeah, it might. We're about to make this thing really custom. <laughs> yeah. Let's try to see if this does anything though, real quick. Kind of is. Open and closing. If I can just keep bending that in, just can't really. Uh, that wasn't what I wanted it to do. I don't think. <laughs> what it even did there. Looks like it may have came out of the point of the contact down there at the bottom. I don't know. The bottom? Maybe not. Something happened, didn't yep. it? Yep. Just the looks of it. It's... Gosh. I don't know about this. It might. <laughs> <laughs> figure out something to I can see the comments <laughs> it's now. actually working yeah. here comes the comments here comes the comments y'all are stupid what are y'all doing <laughs> if, if it cranks up he's a genius so I gotta figure out this this right quick or at so. least if it's but it won't crank up but if it if sparks mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull Trying to figure out which wire runs down to the, the black wire. So I guess it'd be that one. I'm guessing maybe this one right here would be the one. We're gonna try this, see what it does. <laughs> Someone also said you could have used an ink pen spring. Maybe. Man, I wish I knew I was getting it. I'm just bound and determined to get right in the middle of this camera. 
angle. They're on it, so. That black wire. I don't know now where this green wire might feed to something in there that shouldn't, but we'll try it. There's a green wire here taped up, but. Let's give this a go and just see what it does. See if we get a little spark right at first. Try That's it. Not bad, huh? The ground. Ground come undone? I seen it just a little spark off of it there. Here we go. but we're not getting any. So I don't know. I can't really tell which wire. You can kind of see through this hole up here. I don't know if it'll help you any, but not. I honestly don't think that green wire even needs to be there. But like I said, you never know if the <clears throat> coal's any good. No spark? Yeah. All right, a little bit. I think this is the one that runs down too. That's the negative side of the coil, so that's why it was sparking earlier. I think that's just the wire that feeds it hot once it's, uh, you know, from the right. key switch. So, on the condenser side of the coil, on the con condenser side of the points, that would be on the ground side, right? So, should be on that side of the coil. Mr. Magoo said, joke time, how do you fix an Izetta? Answer, with a rubber band. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know if I'm getting, you say you can get to that? Yeah. Make sure we're getting a good connection over there on that side. I mean, it's, let me get a wire brush or something so I can, is it it's, dirty? It, is, it, is it so could bad. be that. They are, the points are opening and closing, and the next thing that we'll try is, um, you know, try to adjust them just a little bit. I cleaned them the best I could, so if they don't... The wire brush I got is weak. If they don't spark, they're not going to. Well, honestly, that thing there has not got the greatest connection either. Might have to try to tighten that a little more. I might be able to hit it with this wire brush, but I don't. Still got a thousand, almost eleven hundred people watching. <laughs> yeah. Need this clamp. Yeah. Okay. Wow, we're out. We are an hour and fifty minutes into this, though. I didn't mm -hmm. know it was that close. I figured about an hour and thirty. Final countdown. Yeah. I'm gonna check something real quick. I'm gonna see if we're getting it through to the other side. Oh. Thank you for the $5 donation, Jeffrey. And he says that he thinks it's positive ground. Uh, yeah, it would be on a six volt, but I mean, I've cranked them before, right, the opposite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so I say the other eyes that as we cranked up, they were regular the way we cranked them. I'm just gonna see if there's even any juice. You need this wire? Yeah. Okay. I 
I can ground, well, actually just ground it right there. Not much. Not coming through that cool very much at all. 1.08. Yeah. So I don't know if we're let me check it right here. Yeah, it's getting it to that for sure. Hmm. So, so weird looking, I don't think you could even try another cool because that wire's not it. gonna. It's not gonna hook up to it. Uh-uh. It's got a, it's not like a push on. That is weird, it screws on. Screws on. Yeah. You want it off? No, okay. I was screwing it back on. I was just trying to figure out why it wouldn't be going through there. I'm even getting less now. Huh. Come on, start firing for us. It's just not sending juice through that coil. Right. Coil. <laughs> Wait for somebody to say something, I guess. Now, going with it, with the with the battery switched around, I don't think that's going to change anything if we tried that. If we went, you know, positive ground, right. it should still be sending juice through that. Right, either way. I see sparks. Yeah. Oh, well, that's not. That ought to be sparking big time. There it is. I don't know. I don't know how to uh, rig up another. I wish I had just a spare cool air just to try it. Because we got up. one. Because we might be able to make a Volkswagen uh, spark plug wire mark. I don't know if this cool is any good though. I'd rather have one that I know is. So I don't know. There's, there's one here. We should that have some crazy. brand new ones. That one. Uh, excuse us as we ramble around trying to find. <laughs> I see a bunch of old ones, but I don't see any new ones. But I'm, I'm like you, I think we have a new one somewhere in a box. So while Fine. they look for that, uh, I'll talk about the merch again. So we have our original uh, tie-dye flag uh, restored shirts. I couldn't even think of our own show. Anyways, and then the front of it, we have Be Restored. And that's our very first shirt we came out with, so we're proud of that. Um, we have our old Betsy shirts, which is over the um, station wagon we did not too long ago. We did a couple of videos over that. Uh, it was drawn up by Michael Doodle. It's a really great shirt, got great colors, and it has the Be Restored on the front as well. Uh, and then we have uh, the Uncle Frankie shirts, which is from the video of the abandoned swamps and cars that we we went and rescued from there, and it also has the Restore logo on the front of that as well. So you can go to www.be-restored.com, and they're each $25. So we have them all in stock except for the large and the original tie-dye flag shirts. So. How 
How long are you guys willing to hang out? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying a different cool. We're trying a cool that would go on just like a regular, you know, just any kind of pacer. Know, <laughs> anything really. I got it out of the pacer box. So, yep. I mean, a good clamp here. I'm just going to see if we can get a little spark with them this way. clamp on there. It's too quiet in here. have a yeah. ton of comments saying they'll stay all night if necessary. That would be fun to do one day. Have a marathon where it's we try to do a all-nighter deal. Would it? I think it'd be fun. <laughs> Maybe not a, a will it run. Still not. No, so we've got a wire ran straight to this new coil, positive to the positive, negative run, running over here that runs down to the points, and still nothing. I don't know if I'm getting a great connection here. I'm <laughs> <laughs> running out of. Well, it's I don't know what what you'd call it. I'm uh, all over the place trying to on the edge, I guess you'd say. Things that normally just. <laughs> Go right or just like that. Right. Thank you for the five dollar super chat. It said that. it looks like a rusty three wheel potato. Paint it brown and load it up with spuds and crash it. Mashed Izetta potatoes. Sweet. I can't get a clip to even stay on there. Apparently, it must just not be me. Makes me feel better. These little boots make them hard, though. I'm just not having much luck here. try to adjust some points a little bit more and then we're gonna have to call it good if that don't work. I can't get these clips to everything's just working against me tonight. Screwdriver. Because uh, they're not opening up real big so maybe that'll help if we can get on top. I just don't know if we're fighting. You know, it's not getting a good connection here right. or there. That one's definitely got a good connection there and there. Yours has got a good connection there, right? Yep. Might just hold that wire there better than the clips. No. no. Hmm. And that should be. Should be sending it down too there, so we're getting juiced to it. Yep. Pull this one little wire off here. Ten probably. Tins all up there. I just seen them while ago. So. Thank you, Country Boy Gas Garage, for the two dollars super chat. Said, "Deep breath, you got this." <laughs> yeah. 
It would have been different if it would have we'd have got further into it and then yeah right, right, off, the right bat, off the bat it's, it was it's been a struggle on the same thing so just try to get these two together here and just hopefully that hoping that maybe it was too bad I have a few people asking if it's got gas no hmm. we're not at that point yet we're just trying to still get it to get spark at the points we're not getting, so we're still fighting that same, like Dad said, that same problem from uh, the point the very at the first. beginning when the points broke. So if we can't get it to get any uh, any fire to the spark plug, then we won't be doing no good here. Those need to be clamped together, and then that wire also. So maybe. You can clamp these and you can unclamp that or undo one of them for right now, that way it's not popping me. Into that wire. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> Sandwich it in there, I guess. Kind of come right out. <laughs> yeah, you can do it like that, I guess. Man, I thought the rubber band thing. I was like, oh, that's yeah. gonna, that's gonna do it. Yeah, it'll be a game changer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought the same thing on the little metal <laughs> spring thing. I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that done and. Some oh that wire come off. It's coming out. Oh, it's shocking me. <laughs> Under that wire, it's gonna shock you. They come off, the other one. Okay. So it's sending juice from that. It's not <laughs> See, we've not got a great connection here with that thing. It was right. kind of, well, I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, that wire. Well, the odds were already 99 to 1 that it wasn't going to work after we started stealing <laughs> parts. I just hate, you know, it'd be nice to be able to at least try to hear it do something. It's hard right. for me to give up on it, but then right. also I'm like... Especially when you have people you're right. uh, wanting you to get it running. Everything. So let me just go connect that wire up and, and hold this. I want to see if it's getting down here too. Not really. Why are we not getting it down? Huh. Not sure. That wire should be sending it down from that. not sending it down to this black wire here, which should be that wire, which I wonder if I was to connect it right there. The only thing is that one would need to be connected too as well, the condenser. Mm, yeah. I don't know how I would do that. What if you jump from a wire? From have there them to here, there. maybe. Still need another wire. Last try, last thing we're going to try, guys. <laughs> Unless it starts sparking and then. <laughs> then we'll go all night. We're customizing. Steady tonight. Well, the good thing is, 
It's no worse shape now than what it was before we started. No, it's better. <laughs> it's actually unlocked at least. Yeah, that's true. I'll hook this up and then we'll do another clamp to that. Okay. See what it does, even if it's. <laughs> we got wires, rubber bands. And... No. Well, guys, we've reached our two hour mark and. We've done one thing throughout the whole video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Appreciate everybody that's hung out on, with this on this video. I'm trying to get that where we can get. Uh, so yeah, we got about a thousand people watching. I don't know. We've tried uh, tried a different coil. It should be sparking down there, but it's it's just not for some reason. Uh, we'll probably come up here tomorrow and tinker with it, and it'll right start sparking like we needed yeah. to probably so maybe she's just a little camera shy so uh anyways thanks everybody for hanging out i'm sorry uh, you know i guess this happens it's not the first time it's happened with right. us but, mm -hmm. uh, it would be the first time we if, if if we don't get it running it would be the first time that's happened so right. because i remember it's all in god's timing so yep. yep it just wasn't meant to be tonight all right well uh let us know in the comments if you guys would like to try to see us pick up on this. Um, we, we may try that, but I definitely think we need to be able to have some parts here on hand. And the scary thing is you really don't know what to order. So, mm -hmm. you know, you never know, if, you never know if you need another new cool and stuff like that. And this is not a project we're wanting to sink a lot of money into uh, right now. So we can't really afford just to buy everything and hope for the best. So, well, I guess with that being <laughs> said, uh, we're going to call it a night. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for everybody that donated, uh, everybody that's bought merch, uh, just comments, uh, your patience with us for hanging out tonight. Uh, we sure appreciate it. So uh, I guess we're going to call this uh, Wave the White Flag. I hate to, mm -hmm. but I, I think we've wasted enough of their time. I yeah. mean, I, we do appreciate y'all hanging out with us. And, and, uh, and I know y'all would, there's some of y'all that would hang out until we finally get it going, but, you know, it's just it's just not that time right now. <laughs> All right, then. We're going to see y'all later. Y'all have a good night, and uh, God bless y'all. God bless y'all. Bye.